Hello YouTube, Realization here. It's been a long time since I've posted a video, but today I'm going to show you guys how to make an auto sifter on FTB Skies, the newest FTB mod pack, that is a skyblock pack. For whatever reason I decided I was going to show you on a compact world seed, so it doesn't really matter. You can do it however you want to do it, but I'm just going to show you for the sake of simplicity that I have easy pl block placing and whatnot. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a full set of factory stuff from Super Factory Manager. Next thing you'll do is you'll place a small three by three square with nothing in the middle for your underneath power generation if you so decide that you wanna do that. But for the sake of the video, I am going to just use a creative power cell thingy from Create. And we'll just uh, drop that bad boy in there. And I didn't think that part through. <sighs> okay, whatever, we'll just put it on top. So next we'll just do sifters all the way around these inventory cables. We will get a mesh of your choosing, however I will use the, the best mesh there is, which is the amethyst, so we'll just set the in all of those. Now the meshes are completely optional on whatever you use, I definitely recommend at least the andesite ones, but if you only have string, eh, so be it, it doesn't really matter. So next, you'll put a small cog wheel inside here. You just slap that in there. All of those will be rotating on that same axis there. You want to buff that thing up as best as you can. See how they're wearing right there? Alright, so the next thing you'll do is you'll get your docks. I recommend at least one of these being a Dank 5. You just put one in there, put another one in there. Now, both of these can, however, be barrels, chests, or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just the danks, they're so much better than a chest because, you know, that's they get all that inventory space and each slot holds 6, 65,000 items. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good. So next, you'll go to your factory manager, you'll place it down see that there's nothing in there so you'll just put your factory disk in there now it says import from clipboard and export from clipboard you may be wondering what these are these are scripts that you make yourself or you know it'll be in the link in the description of the one that I use um, so what you'll do from there is you will open up notepad to so create your script or copy and paste it so what I have right here is the my test script that I was messing around with and it works pretty well so what you'll do or what it does is basically anything that's in a it will try to take eight of those and put them into each B so B is going to be our sifters this is our input chest it's gonna be a this is gonna be C which is our output chest However, because you can't filter not functions, so you, like you can't put like a exclamation mark right here, you can't do that or this. So it, that would basically be say input everything but dirt, but you can't do that. So we're having to use C as a backstock, which means anything that goes in here will end up going into here and then get transferred back over to back over to this one. It's kind of weird. You don't really need A if you're using the docks for holding your danks, but for simplicity's sake, because you can do this with a barrel or something, uh, we have to do it this way. So what you'll do is you go in here, you'll copy the code, you will go in here and you will import from clipboard. Now it says there's an error. Let's see what the error says, because there wasn't an error before. All right, okay. so. Basically, your labels are created with your label gun, which is here. You will shift, right click on the manager, which will pull the labels. 
and you'll shift and use your scroll wheel to change your label gun to A, B, and C. So we'll go to A first, and we'll just right click on the dock. We will shift scroll to B. We'll jump up here. We'll click on all of the sifters to set them to B. And we'll do one more scroll down to C, and we'll set C here. And then after you're done with that, you just right click the manager, and then there should no longer be an error. So we can get rid of that. So, next step is uh, you want to fill your inventory up with uh, gravel or something, or pipe in gravel from some other source that you're automatically making gravel from, or dust or sand or whatever you want to do. So, but since I'm in creative, uh, I'll just do it this way. Gravel, lots of gravel, that did not work. We'll just do give king gravel, uh, I don't know, like 5,000, sure. I'll just put it all in there. And we'll just watch it go. That should be everything that it can produce so as you can see it's going through this pretty fast you drop it down to uh about i think it's like 32 when you're using like water wheels to power all of these this is about how fast it is when you're using water wheels it's not not super crazy fast but hey can't really complain when it's just auto processing stuff without any uh hoppers or anything doesn't even cause lag on your uh, servers because it only operates. If you look here, it does for every 20 ticks, it does this whole whole script. Every 20 ticks, so every second, it just does this one time, and that's it. But that's pretty much it. So uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and give a give a like to the video. I can't promise making any more videos recently because well. I got a lot of life stuff happening, so if you ain't got to subscribe, I don't really care. Um, you can leave a comment if you got any suggestions. I might go ahead and do some suggestions for FTB Skies if you guys got any weird creation ideas that you want me to try to make for you. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching.